Hello. Finally got my solid state relays the other day, so I was finally able to put together the circuit that we see here. And it's really cobbled together, so uh, just take in mind that this is really not the safest setup. <laughs> but it'll work for testing right now. Once I get it in the car, it'll definitely be reconfigured and soldered all up very nice. No exposed connections anywhere or anything like there is now. But let's just go over, let's uh, do an overview of the system. Right now I just have one of the uh, external plugs that I had kicking around handy. This is the solid state relay that I picked up this weekend. It's basically a uh, same thing as a normal relay, just no moving parts in it, which is very nice. You can power it directly from the Arduino, which is also very nice. The Arduino pins can't put out much in the way of amperage, so you have to be very selective about what relays you are, what you use with it. So these work very nicely. This here is just a 5 volt power supply, same as a uh, cell phone charger or something like that. I was I had planned on using just our extra cell phone charger that I had laying around, but I was able to pick up this from uh, the EV build the other day. As you can see, it's just got a bunch of blade connectors on the end, which makes it just easier for wiring. Moving on over, here's the Arduino, which we've all seen before. And then just a few pins, that's a pull-up resistor for doing uh, the relay monitoring, or the alarm monitoring. So, with that, we can basically uh, show you how it works. Um, here's my very unsafe connection. It's uh, barely held together, but... Uh, have this going up to just a uh, a regular floor lamp. So as soon as I plug this in, it's going to act exactly like it would with when you plug in the car. Plug in the extension cord here. plug in the extension cord and the light comes on. We're charging. Everything's great. Now we have the cell log and oh no it's getting up to maximum pack voltage. So to simulate that here I'm just going to ground this pin. This would uh, be what the cell log does automatically and hopefully you can see it there. I also have this LED set to turn off when the light is also supposed to go off. So as soon as I touch this wire here, it powers down the system. And currently the way it's programmed, it'll stay off until I unplug the kit and then turn plug it back in. So you can reset it by unplugging it and plugging it back in. I'll be working on the uh, the in use or the low voltage shutdown at a later time. The main pain in the butt with this kit right now is just the uh, charging. So I will get this soldered up in the next few days, hopefully, and uh, get it into the car in a nice, neat little package 